Hello people, this is Special Surgeon and this is going to be a short video of me showing my latest upgrade to my computer and um, I did a RAM upgrade so let's see what I can and I do do on my computer so I've got, I've got three screens here uh, I've got a 1080, 1080 and a XVGA I think which is uh, 1024768 um, so um, let's let's see let's see what's going on. First of all, I've got a virtual machine here. Let's run this and see what's going on. Um, this is what it's got. This virtual machine is a Ubuntu 11.10 um, uh, running on VMware Workstation 8, and uh, it's got 4 GB RAM and it's using two of my six cores um, so let me play that it'll start in the background let's let's play that let me try to get you guys to hear it Okay, it's asking me for my password. Oh shit, no. Um, just click it. Okay. Okay, and the password's in. And now, let's start it up. By pressing enter. This is Ubuntu 11.10 running on virtual machine on my leftmost screen at 1080p obviously and uh, with full unity and everything absolutely fresh install I haven't done anything on it yet I only used it to do some C++ programming for my recent coursework I'm gonna use it soon again for my second coursework for C++ now here in the middle we have another virtual machine let me take off the charger from my phone Alright, um, now, I've got, this is a Windows Server 2008 R2X64, 64 bit, uh, obviously running on Virtual Machine 8 again, and it's got 6 GB of RAM, and it's running on 2 of my cores again, um, so let's play that. All these operating systems on all these virtual machines are saved on a 7200 RPM 3 terabyte hard drive and that's where the speed comes from which is pretty darn slow for me compared to my original OS which runs from an SSD and it has a boot time of six seconds uh, so this one is just install some uh, updates just restarting now should start quickly quickly now because hasn't got any updates to install should ask me for the password soon oh it's doing something again It'll do what it does. Okay, here we have. Okay, this one, this one's ready. So we go up, and we say virtual machine. Um, send control or delete because we want control or delete. And now I ask for the password, and I type it in. Enter. 
preparing your desktop and your desktop's ready and we have uh, IIS plus Apache running here um, and it should open, yep, yeah, there we go open the uh, server manager which is right here um, I haven't, this is again another fresh install, I haven't done anything on it yet um, I have been working on some servers right now so I, need, I used to work on it as a server, okay that's so I've got Linux there Windows Server R2 2008 here and look at this one this one is a this is actually an imposter for a real life server which exists um, somewhere I work and uh, I have made a duplicate of that and so uh, the configuration is really unchangeable by me I mean as in I can't really change it to whatever I want so basically it's uh, Windows Server 2003 standard edition working on VMware 8 again and it's a 1GB RAM uh, so let's play that so this is Windows Server 2003 so basically now we have this whoa I don't want to drop my headphones because it is five in the morning and I haven't slept for the night. Okay, um, so that's Linux. That's Windows Server 2008 R2 x64. That's Windows Server 2003 R2. Um, this is x32. This one. Alright, so this one's again asking me for Control Alt Delete, which I'm going to do. Pull it up. Send Control Alt Delete. This one's got a powerful password because this one's actually live. Uh, obviously, it's going to be wrong the first time. There we go. So we got that sound. So it should maximize pretty soon. If not now. There we go. Okay, just a little glitchy glitch that it didn't maximize. Okay, so we've got what have we got here? We've got manage your server uh, thing open, and we've got XAMP control panel open as well. So we've got this is a live server. We've got Apache MySQL running, and they're actually live on the internet right now. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah. Okay, so this is the current view, so that one's using two cores and at 3.3 gigahertz and um, 4 GB RAM. This one's using two cores, 3.3 gigahertz, 4 GB RAM. This one's using one core, 3.3 gigahertz, 1 GB RAM. So that's a 441, so that's 489 GB RAM used and one two three four five cores used so one core is actually doing my computer main work but of course it doesn't really work like that because linux would really not even touch you know the second core it's very very efficient um so yeah um it's not going to use most of the ram it's not going to do most of the things that i've given it it's not going to use most of the resources after that i've provided it uh, so I'm going to put everything into full screen for nice viewing. So now, right now, my mouse obviously can go from literally from um, my mouse can literally go from Linux to Windows R2 2008 to Windows R2 2003 instantly and seamlessly. But now, let's minimize all this. Uh, so basically I can go up, up on this Linux and click this button once and it'll immediately switch to dual screen. So now my Linux will be on two screens on extended. So now if I open Firefox on Linux, I can literally quite easily just have this Firefox here and open another Firefox. Um, if I can figure out how, open a new window. So this Firefox runs here. So that's another, that's the Firefox. 
um, blah, 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 enter, so there we go, Google, Google, that's too Firefox is running on Linux, so there we go, I've got the thing there, Pasha Saraja, and, uh, and the other login thing there, so it's basically extended screen on Linux, I can click the button same again, and it will extend onto three screens, that's one, and that's two, so I've got Google there, Linux, Linux, Linux. So depending on what operating system you want to majorly use, you can literally just extend that onto more and more screens or decrease that or you can do two Linux and one R2 or you can do two R2s and one Linux. So you can remove Linux and do R2, 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 you know, two different versions, 2008, 2003. You can do literally anything. Or if you want to, you can do it's just endless combinations. Well, obviously with three screens at this point, but yeah, and um, and yeah, um, that's that's very powerful. Now let's let's at this point go into. Uh, let, let me decrease the number of screens for this. So one screen Linux R2 2008 R2 2003. Let me minimize this so that we can see my original operating system, which is. Uh, Windows 7 Professional 64 bit. It's got 12 GB RAM now, 64 bit, and blah de blah de blah. Okay, now let's look at the performance thing which I did recently at 12, which is 1 o'clock. Now it's 5.46. So for a processor, I've got an 8 point, sorry, 7.8. For memory or RAM, I've got a 7.8. Graphics, I've got a 7.9. Okay, so processor, I've got a uh, AMD Phenom 2 X6 um, 1100T. For RAM, I've got a um, Corsair Dominator. Uh, uh, yeah, Corsair Dominator 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4. Okay. Um, both dual channel pairs and graphics. I've got a GTX 590 gaming graphics again 7.9 out of 7.9 is GTX 590 uh, single GTX 590 and uh, Primary hard disk, which is my SSD is a 7.7 .7 out of a 7.9 That's 1.1 to 7.9. That's the that's the scale and I have a 7.7 .7 overall score, which is determined by the lowest score, which is 7.7 .7 by my hard disk, which is really an, a solid state drive. Okay, so here is my thing. Uh, let's look at the processor. So here I've got uh, CPU monitor. I've got RAM usage at 50% <laughs> with 4 plus 4 plus 1 being used. Well, not entirely. But um, RAM is being used. Fifty percent RAM is being used, and uh, uh, sixteen degrees is my computer uh, CPU. Sixteen degrees. Look at that. It's literally sleeping, and um, yeah, it's, it's just it's just sleeping. It's it's playing around in the playground. It's just not doing nothing. CPU usage zero percent upstairs. I mean not upstairs. Look up. Okay, and um, what else have I got here? I've got some RDP connections. Some um, these three are my VM uh, virtual machines that are running. These red red server is actually an RDP connection to that server there. That one there. It's a Dell machine, and it's got a NAS connect. Well, it's got a hard drive connected to it, which I use as my NAS, which is network of access to hard drive and what else have I got here I've got TS imposter which is basically the RDP for TS imposter my third VM right here um, so yeah that's pretty much it guys and uh, I hope you liked the video let me show you guys the desktops for each VMs and then the desktop for my main computer uh, let me close that. Uh, well, the R2s are not going to have much of an interesting desktop other than a solid color. But oh well, whatever. Um, so look, I've got that's Ubuntu 11.10. 11 
That's our uh, Windows 2008 R2, Windows 2003 R2 servers, and let me minimize all of them. It's a little weird thing when I try to minimize my mouse jumps. Okay, let me minimize everything here too. So this is what my screen looks like. It's my leftmost screen, my middle screen, and my rightmost screen. It's a red and black theme, obviously, from everything you see. Um, pretty much everything around here is red and black, including the latest fan that I've installed. The second one, which I couldn't install due to the PSU coming in the way, and I still need to connect my Airflow and Airflow Pro system. Um, yeah, and my hair gel is red too. Oh, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Please rate and comment and. Make sure to ask questions on how I set up three screens on a single GTX 580 because that one's running off a of USB. So if you guys want me to send you a link to where you can buy it, then do tell me. Because this is what I've got on the Mac. I've got um, that's GTX 580 DVI, GTX 580 DVI, and that one, that thing there, is the USB to DVI converter, which I have a use DVI to VGA converter for. Um, for this screen because that's a VGA screen and I've got it running on a DVI off USB and it's very powerful obviously I wouldn't recommend playing games on it because um, you'll probably get good FPS for the first few seconds and then drop it out but it's very good for like having something like email or social stuff open on but it's really if you already have two screens and you need a third one so yeah, alright, thank you guys, uh, thank you for watching the video, take care, bye bye.